It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix race weekend and I am catching a ride with the team's reserve driver, Pascal Verlein. We're going to Yas Marina circuit and since I've seen Pascal, he's become the DTM world champion. So we're going to have plenty to catch up on. Good morning, Pascal. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you doing? Very good. You ready to hit the track? Of course. Things have changed since we met up last at Silverstone. You are now yeah. the DTM champion. Oh yeah, true. Thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah, true. Yeah, like just a casual little change. To Already the man. more than one month, so. So you're used to it now. Yes. So have you become a, a diva now that you're a world champion? A diva. A diva. Like, do you demand stuff now? Do you ask people to? No, I'm driving. I'm driving myself to the racetrack. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that actually. So <laughs> you don't have a chauffeur? No. You're my chauffeur. S still the same, yeah. Yeah, well, I quite like that. Um, so how long have you been in Abu Dhabi for? Are you used to the area? Have you had a look around? Um, since Thursday, so. I've seen nothing apart from the racetrack, from the hotel and uh, from the airport. But You're maybe like... on, on Monday because I'm driving the test next Tuesday. Yeah, I want to talk about this. So how are you, um, how are you thinking ahead of that, all of that? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Yeah, definitely. Excited? I'm excited, yes. Excited. Not nervous. Not nervous. Um, Do you get nervous? The... No. No, never. No. No. Are you nervous now, uh, driving me? Precious cargo. No, also no. No, not, not. <laughs> okay, that's right, that's right. Are you nervous? A little bit. Driving with me. Yeah, it's okay. I think <laughs> safety first here. We've got seatbelts on, you're looking left before we're turning out, so I'm, I'm feeling quite safe. Okay. Um, so the test is going to be quite cool because they've got the new tyres. Yes, so we have the new ultra soft tyre. Um, let's see how, how they behave. But Especially here. Yeah, because the track is, is really hot and I think even, even for one quick lap um, that it will be a problem at the end of the lap with the tires because the degradation and the temperature they're just gonna um, melt it's so high and yeah let's see um, so yeah so your role over the weekend as reserve driver what does it kind of entail yes yeah, so I'm, I'm in all the meetings I'm having the radio on when the drivers are driving um, yeah and just in case if something would happen uh, that I'm ready to drive. Do you ever think about um, tripping up Lewis or Nico so that they can't race and so you can have a go? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? No, never. Never? <laughs> I, no, think, I think that might be your way forward. No, honestly, because I want to drive um, a whole season and not just one race and then for the next race I have to jump out again. So that's um, the aim, a whole yeah. season, not yes. just a race here or there? And, and it's the same with Fridays, for example, if, if I would I have the opportunity to drive on Friday for sure it would be would be nice but then you're driving just one free practice and for the second one you jump out again and you're watching the other guys racing so um, I want to drive a whole season um, as a driver and uh, not just for one race or for free practice. For is that example. frustrating when you're watching them and you just want to be in the car yourself? You get yes it is. I don't like, I don't like to be at the racetrack and not to drive any cars. Yeah. Not so good. So your DTM stuff's finished. Um, what's next for next year? Practicing. Yeah, that's a big question. Yeah. I hope that I will get a chance in Formula One. There are still uh, some opportunities for next year, but um, yeah, just just a few. So I hope that I can drive Formula One. If not, we have to to think about our options: reserve driver, DTM, maybe GP2. Like I said, Friday tests, more testing, and um, then hopefully 2017. Cool. You see some cool cars while you've been out here? Yeah, they have really cool cars here. Quite really fast, cool aren't they? Yeah. Great highways to just. Should we of... overtake him? He's too yeah, slow. Yeah, we've got to start behind a van. See you later. I'm with a future F1 driver. <laughs> do you ever do that? No. I'm a Formula One driver coming through. No. No, no. no, no. I would. What would you, so if you went to a hotel, what would you ask for in your room? If you are going to stay at a Starwood hotel, what would you ask for? A uh, steak, beef. Steak? Yeah, I love steak. And any special room service? Sorry? Like a room service. You know, would yeah. you like, you like your sheets a certain way or your duvet or your pillows? Lots of pillows? And uh, no, I'm fine. If so the bed is comfortable, it's, it's fine. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Gosh. I think this is all going to change when you become a big time Formula yeah, One Yeah, and then I, w I would like to have a whirlpool. <laughs> a whirlpool. Yeah. I love that. It's top of the list. Whirlpool. Yeah. Okay. Jacuzzi in your room. Yeah. It's good nice. acceleration. Yeah. But it's is 120. It only 120, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Is it weird switching between a DTM car and a Formula One car? Do you have to kind of separate your brain? Um, yes, it's, but it's not strange. So I'm, I'm used to it now, but at the beginning, always when I jumped into, from a DTM car into an F1 car, I was always so new because I'm, you know, You're I'm- going off right here. I have to stay right? I think right here, yeah. yeah. So I could be your co-driver in rally. We could do rally together, Pascal. Yeah, we would be successful. Do I you think, think I'd so. be okay? Yeah, yeah. Do you think I could be a reserve driver for the team? No, exit one. Uh, no, then you have to be better Pascal, than me. No. Yeah, you have to be better than me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm looking and I'm learning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so you don't think I've got it in me? That's un that's unfortunate. I think but I could. I think with with my lessons, you you could really. I could come to the, after me, it could be the reserve driver, yeah. Come to the Pascal School of Driving. Yeah. So we're nearly approaching the circuit. Yes. You've driven very safely, apart from a minor glitch where we nearly hit a crane. Ah, oh, that was fine. Yeah, it was minor blip. It, minor it wasn't close at all. You just thought it was close, but that's it the thing, wasn't. isn't it, with Formula One drivers and drivers in general? You, um, you're this close sometimes to the wall. Yes, to the wall Oof. and to the other drivers on braking, for example. It's getting sometimes really, really close. It's normal, we are just yeah. used to it. What do you want for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? Um, I would like... Gosh, I haven't really thought about Christmas. It feels weird, isn't it? You Being see? in the heat. Sometimes the questions, they are difficult, not really isn't it? easy. I'm not very no? good at it's, answering. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm very good at asking them, to be honest. <laughs> um, what would I like for Christmas? I think I would like... Probably some chocolate. That always goes down well chocolate. at Christmas, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you like chocolate? Can you eat no. chocolate? No, I don't, I don't like it. What? Even if I, I would be allowed, or I am allowed to eat it, I wouldn't like it. I don't like the taste. Are you more of a sweets person than a chocolate person? No, more crisps. Crisps? Yeah, What's your I favorite love flavor? Crisps. Please keep um, at the meters. moment, it's always something with, with chili, sweet chili from... Yum. Yeah. If you had to make your own flavor of crisps, what would yeah. it be? <laughs> uh, chili. Chili? Yeah, it has to be hot and, and sweet. Hot and sweet, so sweet chili is perfect for me. Sweet chili, so you could call it something like hot and sweet? Yeah, hot, sweet, uh, Pascal crisps, something like that. I can I see it already, I can see <laughs> yeah. it in the shops. Yeah. <laughs> Pascal's hot. Roll up, roll up, come get hot, Pascal's sweet. crisps. <laughs> hot, sweet, crispy it's chips. It's going to be a bestseller. Yeah. At the end of the road. <laughs> Delicious. Well, this has been a pretty good Christmas present for me, I think. A drive, a drive into the track with Pascal. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. You got me here safely. And now I've got to walk home. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm going. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Don't worry, we're finished now. Where's your accreditation? Unfortunately, Pascal didn't get me an accreditation, so I'm jumping out and we're going to get a taxi back into the city. What's that? You can't go inside without accreditation. That's fine. So I'm leaving now. There. Yeah, it was just okay, filming. Okay, we're just filming an interview. <clears throat> Thank you very much for your concern, though. Filming for what? For their team. Guys, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the best bit of the okay. interview. Yeah. Don't cut. <laughs> Don't cut. We'll keep it in. Uh, yeah. We'll keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's what happens when you hang around with a Formula One driver. It doesn't matter. I think do he really you liked you. He, yeah. he really liked you. I could see. It. Thanks, I could see it in his eyes that he really liked you. In his eyes. Yeah. For goodness me. In his smile. Well, maybe I won't walk back into town. Maybe I just stay yeah. here with him. Yeah. Perfect. That's Pascal. why he said go over there, so he so he knows. So he knows where I am. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good yeah, race weekend, and we'll catch up soon. At yes. Stars and cars. See you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye bye.